camera action. I'm talking about Floyd Mayweather's upcoming New Year's Eve fight in Tokyo. This New Year's Eve, live in Iraq, versus kickboxing, sen kickboxing sensation, Tenshin Nasukawa. Nah, I don't know nothing about this kickboxing sensation, right? I'm not going to don play anything, his skills or anything. He may be fast, maybe I'll go kickbox. But remember something, this is boxing, right? Has nobody in the history of boxing boxed as smart as Fort Floyd Mayweather or made savvy moves becoming independent and promoting their own fights. Remember something, how many years has Floyd Mayweather been his own promoter promoting his own fights and raking in tons way more cash than what he would have as being under, underneath somebody else's roof. So you gotta understand, Floyd's smart when it comes to boxing, when it comes to promoting his fights, and he's smart in the ring too. So you may say he's 40 and this and 40 this, 40 plus years old, he's slow this, he's slow that. They said that against many four Pacquiao. So people still find excuses. Oh, he fought him and he is out of his prime. The point that he matter is he fought him and beat him. Okay? Remember something. If Floyd Mayweather was younger when he fought Pacquiao, how much faster he would have been? Okay? So you would have still got the same result where Mayweather would have won the fight, regardless which way you try to look at it, right? Now, I don't know about his financial situation. I'm not even here to get into that. But as far as him, his boxing skills, tenacity, his smartness, his ring, his ring ability, I haven't seen that yet from nobody else, as smart as he is. Sugar Ray Leonard was good. Muhammad Ali was good. Yes, pay homage to those guys. But Mayweather is by far the most defensive genius, the most explosive and the most decorated boxer I'm seeing in a ring. When Mayweather comes to a ring, anything to do with a Mayweather fight, it brings excitement. You want to watch it. People saying, well, again, boycott this, we're not going to buy the pay-per-views. Anything involving poor Floyd Mayweather, the pay-per-views will be bought. And this fight, I think, is going to be private anyway, if my memory, memory serves me correct. So even if it is a tune-up fight for Pacquiao, that's going to be even bigger because people's going to go and buy that too. So you can say, oh, Floyd runs. Floyd does this. Floyd runs that. That's ring smart. What you want to do? Stay in the ring, get punched in your head, get brain damage. And this is one of Floyd's philosophers. The, the, the less you get hit, the longer you last. Okay, He ain't going to stand up and take hits in his head like Muhammad Ali. And no disrespect to Muhammad Ali because he is great in his own way. But as far as just standing up there getting your bow rung like that, that's not smart. That's your brain up there. right? Muhammad Ali was different. His style was different. Yeah, I like Muhammad Ali's attitude, and I wouldn't say Floyd ain't got some of Muhammad Ali's traits in his boxing, but Floyd's took boxing and evolved it. So this move here, what Floyd's getting off this fight, it's, it's, it's a genius move. It's a marketing move, okay? Floyd's go up with the marketing when it comes to his marketing for his fights and all that, right? So you say, hey, fights comes out of retirement. Yeah, because it's an opportunity, okay? Remember something, Floyd's an opportunist. I'm an opportunist too, right? He sees a way to capitalize on his brand, so that's why he's doing this. Part of this is capitalize on his brand. And another part of it could be for the two and a fight for Pacquiao, right? No matter what you lost, say, oh, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that fight. Oh, it's going to be boring. It's just going to run. People, if that fight gets announced, if that fight gets confirmed and announced, people will buy their pay-per-views and will break racket numbers, okay? Because there's nobody that's boxing right now who we could say is going to bring as much excitement as Floyd right now. Who in the world that you can say is going to bring more excitement than Floyd to the ring? Floyd's charisma. Floyd's flashy. But I think Floyd does that as part of his branding. Okay? People see Floyd as arrogant. But what I'm saying is Floyd came from nothing. Okay? You were in Durban. You had to travel miles and miles in the snow just to go to the boxing ring. Okay? And he could back up his talk with his results. So this fight to me, it ain't going to be no difference. It's going to be a tune-up fight. People are saying it's broken. up. We don't know his financial situation. Okay? And would you turn down $88 million in le for less than hours work? He might he ain't be there for an hour. So it's a branding move. So is there any smart of him to do that? So this fight's going down. It's going to be very exciting. I can't wait for it. right? Even though I might not be able to see it right away, they might be sharing and leaking it out on YouTube after the fight. You know, I don't know what the rights are going to be, but this man's smart. Okay, He negotiates everything that's to his terms. And you say, well, Floyd's in again, fight as stiff that if these stipulations are in. He's smart, okay? Why would, you get in, why would you get in a fight blind? That doesn't make no sense to me. That doesn't show me that just yes, to show me that you're ignorant if you can get in a fight and not benefit and negotiate to your advantage. That's in anything you get what you negotiate. He's a negotiator. 
There's not Fred Floyd's a smart fighter, right? Let me know what you think about this subject right there. I'm excited. Thank you.